Good morning, good morning. Today I want to show you one of the best things to do on the islands. The Sanibel and Captiva Farmers Markets. With around 45 vendors at each, the selection never fails to disappoint. The booths include local meat, cheese, baked goods, fish, art, jewellery and so much more. When Laurie and I stopped by the Sanibel Farmers Market last Sunday, we couldn't help but pick up a few things. First, we got the chocolate croissants from the French bakery, and admittedly, those did not actually make it home. Next, under strict instructions from our daughters, we stopped by the guacamole stand, where they make and pack the guac right in front of you. For dinner, we picked up some fresh caught local hogfish to throw on the grill later that night. Don't be afraid to have a chat with the vendors. They are always more than happy to talk about their products and share their recipe ideas. Here's an insider tip. Most vendors take credit cards, but make sure to bring small bills for the cash only booths. And if you plan on taking stuff home, make sure to bring some reusable bags. Parking is free and super easy, but biking is our personal favorite way to get to the market. A little fun history of the market. It all started in 2008 as a five-week experiment by Islanders Jean Bear and Betsy Ventura. Jean told me on the very first day she was so nervous that vendors wouldn't show up and even more nervous that customers wouldn't. Luckily for us, they did show up. It was such a raving success that 13 years later, they now have eight locations across Lee County. The Sanibel Market is open every Sunday from October to May at 800 Dunlop Road between the Sanibel Library and Sanibel City Hall from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. And the Captiva Market is at the entrance to South Seas Island Resort every Tuesday from November to May from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. If you happen to miss the island season, the River District Farmers Market actually runs year-round on Thursdays from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. in downtown Fort Myers. Check out our blog post about the farmers markets where you can find their website and our interview with co-creator Gene Bear on the sandcapguide.com. Link will be in the description below. In the words of Gene and Betsy, the farmers market provides an opportunity to buy locally and gather with friends and neighbors in a relaxed outdoor setting. I think it really embodies the spirit of the Sanibel community, letting you know not only where your purchases come from, but that you can be sure that the money you spend stays in the local area. Another wonderful part is the connection the markets have with the island charity called Fish. Fish has been on the island for 40 years and among other services, they provide a food pantry and deliver for those in need. A portion of the perishable food from the markets is donated directly to their pantry. We really encourage you to visit the farmer's market next time you're here. You will not be disappointed. My name is Nick Adams. Come and join me on the next one. Okay, just wanted to give a quick shout out to our sponsors, Gator Bites Tail and Owl, Breakaway Vacations and Spoon Drift Island Bowls. Without them, it wouldn't be possible to bring you this content. We are looking for supporters and sponsors to help the channel grow. Uh, so if you'd like to uh, get involved, please do email us. Um, at uh, thesandcapguide.com or you can just uh, reach out on the, any of the media channels. We'd love to hear from you. Um, there's all sorts of sponsorship uh, opportunities um, and we'd appreciate anything you can do for us. So thanks very much. Have a great day and we'll see you on the next one.